when the calendar says October, it's time to start thinking about holiday decorations for the shop. I designed this tree to be made out of folded sheet metal, and I developed these patterns for the plasma cutter. Although in this video, I'll be using laser cut patterns, you could easily produce these on a bandsaw or even mount the paper patterns directly to the steel. If you're doing production, you might consider making these patterns out of aluminum. Be sure to read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. Wear appropriate safety equipment when necessary. For these cuts, I'll be using a Miller 625 Extreme Plasma Cutter. Thank you to Miller Electric for providing the equipment you'll see in this video. Be sure to check out the link in the description to see other project ideas. The two-part patterns will provide a guide for the inside and outside of the shape. These patterns take into account the offset of the drag tip. Although a CNC plasma is great for things like this, a little ingenuity allows similar results with a handheld torch. A quick pass of the flap wheel will take care of any dross on the backside. To bend the steel, you can use sheet metal pliers or even a couple crescent wrenches. Here, I'll be making my own. Here you can see how I modified later versions of the patterns to reference each other. Here, you can see an example of cutting with paper patterns. With all of the parts cut, I just need to bend everything up. I'm going to pre-crease the bend lines. This will give a more crisp fold. For tacking this together, I'll be using the Multimatic 220 from Miller. I have set the welder to 16 gauge steel and MIG. This machine is capable of MIG, TIG, stick, and spool gun.
and I look forward to using it on many upcoming projects. For this, all of the welds will just be simple tacks. Tacking only when everything lines up. The first section is the hardest, because you can use it to form the rest of the sections. Here I'm welding the tip together and hoping it looks similar to the other bends. Now I'll make a structural base for the tree. I found a cutting disc that was approximately 6 inches in diameter to use as a guide. After the center was marked, I can weld on a coupler nut. This is a 3 8 inch threaded rod. I will install a nut in a washer part way up to lift the bottom section off of the table. With a standard nut, I'll mark the overall length of the threaded rod. After this is cut to length, I'll cap the tree with an acorn nut. You could paint this but I decided to use Scotch-Brite and some holiday-scented WD-40. This was a fun and quick project that I think turned out great. And just in time for the holidays. Thanks for watching.